Hello and welcome to my review of the Space Marine Primaris Judicia. It's kind of like a chaplain, but a bit more badass. Is the Space Marine Primaris equivalent of the like Executioner that we saw for Chaos Space Marines? The only way to get this model at the moment is to get the Indomitus box set, as you can see behind him. Uh, the set cost you £125, it was a limited run. Uh, there's still time to enter into my competition to win the uh, box set. I ship it anywhere around the world. Just type in, you know, Indomitus box set giveaway and you'll probably find it on YouTube. You've got until the 30th of August uh, midnight on that day to enter. All you need to do is be a subscriber, like the video and leave a comment of which is your favorite model in the set. Hey, this may even be your favorite miniature. It's one of my favorites, I'll tell you that. What we'll do is we'll look at the uh, miniature uh, up close and personal. I'll go through a load of comprehensive size comparisons as always, and then we'll get into the nitty gritty of his rules and I'll actually compare his rules to the Chaos Space Marine Executioner. So here he is, he's easy to build, I guess. Well, you know, he's pushed to fit. Uh, like all of the models in the, the box set, they don't necessarily need glue, but I would severely, uh, you know, recommend that you do um, glue all of the uh, models. Basically spot the skulls uh, with this model. I mean, obviously his head is a kind of skull. He's got like a skull faceplate thing going on. Uh, I do think that the, his head looks a bit smaller for that, but there we go. You've got a skull there. Sk he's got a, a, a skull ring, uh, which I think gives him an extra wound. <laughs> he's got a skull belt. Uh, he's got a skull on his um, little box of, you know, it's, it's just his little diary really, isn't it? Let's face it. It's his mood diary. Um, and then, uh, He's got a skull on his um, knee plate, uh, poking through his cloak. Um, you can't really see another skull, so there isn't a skull on his other knee plate. There's even a skull for his uh, kind of mini scenic base. There's a skull uh, on the pommel of his handle, uh, of his uh, squared off uh, sword. There's a skull on the hand guard. Uh, there's a skull on his uh, chest plate. And um, there's a skull on his little dangly cross thing. And um, there's a skull reverse. There's a skull on his power plant. Um, doesn't look like there's a skull on his pistol, but there we go. There's a skull on his um, shoulder pauldron. And speaking of which, he doesn't own a right shoulder pauldron. It's almost like he's forgotten it. Uh, he, d he doesn't need it. Yeah, I think that's a bit of a, yeah, bad move from Games Workshop. Maybe this is the shoulder pauldron but I, I probably wouldn't be able to find a way of squeezing that in. I'm usually quite adept at squeezing things into small places, but in, in this case, yeah, the, there's, you're gonna need some kind of lubrication um, for that one. But uh, yeah, it's not gonna work. <laughs> Don't force it, guys. Um, so, so yeah, he's, he doesn't have a uh, shoulder pod in there, but he does have a little skull on his um, purity seal and crinkles on the uh, paper there. You got a little uh, purity seal up, the, up top as well. Um, so yeah, lots and lots of skulls on here. Put it in the comments uh, if you know exactly how many skulls this model has, including his kind of head, his face paint. I, I like the fact that he's just walking around with like a, a Prince of Persia, <laughs> Sands of Time. Um, and uh, he's pretty much saying, you know, when this sand reach, before this sand reaches the bottom, you know, I'm going to chop your head off with uh, with this ridiculous sword. Uh, I do like the writing on the sword as well. I think that's really cool. But yeah, I do miss the shoulder pauldron. Um, Space Marines always look odd when, they, when they're when they missing a pauldron or when Games Workshop just decide not to uh, give them one. Uh, but there you go. Um, so that's the model himself. He looks very similar to the Chaplain, I guess. I mean, uh, specifically Chaplains, um, Primaris Chaplains do have, uh, you know, like a skull type um, helmet, uh, pretty much like that. Um, he looks really, really cool. But um, for this um, Indomitus uh, Chaplain, they've decided not to go for that, but they've got lots of skulls and uh, his review will be coming uh, very soon. Um, but that uh, also gives you like a size comparison between them both. Um, they are similarly sized. Chaplain's, mm, I don't know, Chaplain's kind of got more presence with that um, Absolver Bolt pistol and this massive mace thing. Uh, but again, so is the Judicia with the uh, big sword and the sand timer. Comparing him to the other main HQ uh, choices in the uh, set, uh, which is the captain right here. Captain does have more presence, he's a bit taller. He's on the uh, the same size base, but there's a lot more going on and that shield is you know, more of a presence. And then comparing him to uh, a lieutenant, very, very rare that you get any primaris lieutenants these days. Uh, but yeah, similar sort of size. I don't know which one looks more intimidating. It's a difficult one because the, 
Lieutenant does have that Neo Volkite pistol um, <laughs> with a really long barrel, uh, but the Judicia does have that long blade um, and the skull sort of uh, helmet with a cloth over his helmet grill or whatever he's got under there. Anyway, um, compared to the Blade Guard Ancient, uh, just to give you an idea of the size, Blade Guard Ancient has this like little iron halo thing and has this. Uh, you know, another skeleton. Uh, I don't know what it is with their fascination with skeletons at the moment and skulls. And, you know, I, I guess they're trying to bring the Primaris back into grim dark. Um, but, uh, yeah, too many bones and skeletons kind of lessens the effect, in my opinion, I think. Um, but there we go. Uh, that's uh, the size comparisons there compared to the, uh, well, an, an Eradicator, um, which is in the Gravis armor. Very similar, similar height. Um, but, yeah, this one looks proper awesome doesn't it and then comparing them to some of the uh, Necron uh, models so I've got a, a warrior here he'll stand taller than the normal Necron warriors um, comparing him to the overlord right here um, he's a bit shorter than the overlord the overlord's on a different kind of pose and then the uh, Scorpec Lord uh, you know much much smaller than one of these bad boys um, but that just gives you a size comparison between him and um, you know the other models in the set comparing him to my tried and tested uh, uh, You know usual miniatures. Uh, you've got a, a Legacy Space Marine on the left right here um, much much taller than him now uh, Slime Marbo Which he essentially goes up to his breastplate maybe maybe if you're lucky um, and then a normal Primaris Similar kind of height, so they haven't jumped massively. They've just, you know, become a little bit like thicker, I guess, a little bit wider. The bases are bigger, a um, bit more going on with the scenic bases, and of course more skulls. But uh, yeah, if you've got normal Primaris, don't be too worried that these new Indomitus ones will dwarf them uh, or put them out of place. They all do look spa like Space Marines. They all do look like Primaris. They're going to look uh, right at home, except for his missing uh, shoulder pauldron. <laughs> okay, I, I can't. I just can't let that lie. I can't uh, forget that. Once you see it, you'll never kind of forget it. Okay then, so what I will do now is just go through all of his rules. I'll take them from the uh, Edge of Silence Indomitus box set uh, supplement kind of codex thing, army introduction thing. Uh, I can't foresee that the rules will change much from this to the uh, new Space Marine Codex that Games Workshop have announced will be released in October. Uh, however, you will be able to find out the, the points cost in that book, um, which you can't find out in the uh, Edge of Silence. But his power points cost is a four, which um, means that he's the same power points cost as the Lieutenant, the Chaplain, but he is cheaper than the Blade Guard Ancient and the Veteran Squad and the Captain. Uh, so. You know, you've got a choice there. You can go for the Chaplain, the Lieutenant, or the Judicia. They're all the same power points cost. Now, his stat line reads, he's a movement of 6 inches, weapon skill 2+, plus, ballistic skill 3+, plus, strength 4, toughness 4, 5 wounds, 4 attacks, leadership 9, and a save of 3+. Plus. Now, that is exactly the same stat line as a Chaplain, but his ballistic skill is a little bit worse than the Lieutenant. But he does have a better uh, leadership than the Lieutenant for some strange reason. Anyway, the model is equipped with an Absolver Bolt Pistol, Executioner Relic Blade, Frag Grenades and Crack Grenades. So that's the main difference between him and the Chaplain. Chaplain has the Crozius Arcanum and the Judicia has an Executioner Relic Blade. So the Absolver Bolt Pistol, which they both carry, is a range 18 inch, Pistol 1, Strength 5, AP minus 1 and a damage of 2 weapon. Doesn't have any abilities, it's quite a strong weapon. The Frag Grenades and Crack Grenades do what they always do, uh, but uh, this is a new weapon that you may not be familiar with called the Executioner Relic Blade. It's a melee weapon, it's a Strength plus 3, AP minus 3, damage 2, and each unmodified wound roll of 6 inflicts one mortal wound on the target in addition to any other damage. Now that's horrific. That's better than the Mastercrafted Power Sword that the Captain has uh, because it pluses his strength by 3. So you're getting a Strength 7 weapon. Uh, it's got the same AP and damage as the Mastercrafted Power Sword. However, it's this uh, wound rolls of 6s. You know, he's got 4 attacks there. Um, you're getting those 6s, you're getting mortal wounds. And with that weapon skill of 2+, plus, it's great um, to fire him off and uh, try and take down characters and other HQs and things. Uh, and uh, that works in synergy with his uh, other abilities, which I'll touch upon right now. So his abilities, he's got Angels of Death, and then Blade Parry. This model has a 4 plus invulnerable save against melee weapons, so that's fantastic. The Lieutenant relies on the 4 plus invulnerable from the Storm Shield, and the Captain relies on the uh, 4 plus for the Iron Halo, but this uh, Judicia 
uh, much like the Chaplin's Rosarius, has a, has a 4 plus just because he can blade parry, which is amazing. So all of your main HQ choices um, in the Indomitus box set have those invulnerable saves. It, it's pretty much a, an invulnerable save um, free-for-all, uh, really, because the uh, Blade Guard Veteran Squad have um, invulnerable saves too. And then the final ability is called Tempor Mortis. At the start of each fight phase, select one enemy unit within six inches of this model. That unit cannot fight until all other eligible units have done so that phase. That's really, really quite strange. Um, so you get one enemy unit and it can't fight until everybody else has. That's insane. And I guess that's where his Prince of Persia Sands of Time, <laughs> um, Sand Timer comes in, I guess. Keywords, Imperium, Adeptus Astartes, Infantry Character, Primaris Judicia. So there you go, really, really strong character there. Excellent in melee. Uh, you know, he, he has, you see, he doesn't have five attacks uh, like the captain, but he does have four attacks. He's got a three plus normal, a four plus invulnerable. He's got the chance uh, that the melee weapon is very strong and it's got very decent, and it's got a decent AP and damage and can inflict those mortal wounds. And also he has this, that ability within six inches of kind of slowing down time, I guess. But super, you, you told me that you would uh, compare him to the master of executions. Okay, okay, okay. I, I will compare them to the Master of Ex Executions. I, I did promise. Now, the Master of Ex Executions for the uh, Chaos Space Marines um, is also an HQ choice, uh, and he's also a power points cost of a four. His stat line is very similar, is that the uh, Master of Executions has one less wound. He only has four wounds instead of five, but he does have one extra attack. Um, so there you go. Unfortunately, he doesn't have an invulnerable save, which would make or break um, some kind of melee champion. He has the Axe of Dismemberment, uh, which is a strength 8, so it's a better strength. Uh, it, it, it's the same AP, but it's got a damage of D3, so, so probability-wise, you're looking at a damage of 2 anyway. However, he's also got this wound roll of a 6+, plus, um, that inflicts a, a mortal wound, uh, in addition to any uh, other damage. So he, he's also got this extra like mortal wound ability. However, uh, the Master of Executions has this trophy taker where you can reroll one hit, wound or damage for an attack that targets characters. So he specifically goes against characters, whereas this guy, it would be best to aim him at um, characters. And also he's got this warp sighted butcher whereby he can um, perform a heroic intervention uh, within three inches of uh, enemy models or six inches of enemy characters. So that's that's quite a nice little extra caveat. But I'd probably prefer the uh, Temple Mortis um, than the heroic intervention thing. Um, and also I'd rather have the four plus invulnerable save. But it's nice that Games Workshop have uh, seen the value of the Master of Executions, which was a brand new model for Chaos Space Marines at the start of last year. And uh, have now given Space Marines, Primary Space Marines, an equivalent, I guess. Interesting, isn't it, that the Chaos Space Marine Master of Executions, who isn't like a Primary Space Marine, only has one less wound, but he has one extra attack uh, and the same of everything else. Uh, very interesting, because uh, typically you'd see Primaris with, you know, with all those extra wounds and things, but it seems like in the next Space Marine Codex, normal Space Marines will be getting two wounds and uh, Terminators will be getting three. So it's more invulnerable saves for everyone and more wounds for everyone and uh, just buy dice just you know buy as ma many dice as you can at the moment <laughs> to uh, keep a record of how many wounds all of your 50 space marines have got or whatever anyway i'm uh, drifting off course so in summary i think it's a really really fantastic looking model it was one of the models that i was most interested in other than like a, oh it's another lieutenant dare i say it or it's another captain um or another chaplain uh, i think it's great that um they've created a brand new model, brand new unit, rather than just a variation of an existing one. Uh, so thumbs up for that. Uh, it's one of my favorite models in the set. What do you guys think of him and his rules and how he could be improved? Please do put it in the comments below. I'm taking donations for uh, right shoulder pauldrons right now. So if you want to donate, um, then just private message me on that one. I'm sure I can find uh, them a good home. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.